the intrepid photographer. My husband is constantly starting fights and pointing out my flaws and how I could do things better mm -hmm. or how I don't do things well or not at all. How can I stay positive towards my children and being their teacher in a positive manner when I keep hearing negative things mm. about me? Mm. I know. I don't like that I don't intrepid either. photographer. Yeah, I mean, this is something that's about your husband, not about you. Something is happening with him. Maybe it always was, but it sounds to me that you're probably in an emotionally abusive relationship. Right. Like, forget being positive towards your children. <laughs> yeah. You know, you are teaching your children, you are a model for your children of what a loving, respectful, intimate relationship looks like. And if they are growing up in a home where they're watching their mother get emotionally abused, that's teaching them, I mean, not only is that traumatic in and of itself, but it's really not setting a good model for them. And they're probably being emotionally abused as well. And that to me, I mean, even though physical abuse can be much more physically dangerous, emotional abuse is extremely dangerous as well and shouldn't be taken lightly. And so I would really look into that. There are lots of, of websites and hotlines that really focus on emotional abuse. You need to get more information. You need to empower yourself around this and maybe get into some couples therapy or help him get into some therapy or anger management therapy. But the most important thing is that you don't have to drink his Kool-Aid. You know, what happens when you're being emotionally abused and it sounds like it's happening to you is that you start to believe yeah. the stories you're being told about yourself. Right, right. And it's not true. So you don't have to believe the stories he's telling you. And if you can find your center, get into therapy, get your power back, right. then you're going to be so much clearer and such a better model to your children than you ever could be. So it's not about changing him. It's about finding your own power.